Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website, Excel-DashboardTemplates.com, so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques. Also, don't forget to sign up as a YouTube user, so that you're sure to get the latest video tutorial as well. All right, uh, today what I'd like to show you is what I call um, a mustache chart or a, a grouping, a um, the, the left brace, some people call it, also curly bracket. So uh, this was a Wall Street Journal posting that I saw back in 2011. Wanted to see if I could replicate this entire chart uh, in Excel and uh, make it a little bit more automated. And lo and behold, this is actually the final Excel chart. Couldn't find uh, my copy of the original uh, graphic, but this is what it looked like. And so what you've got here, you've got this sort of mustache or curly bracket, uh, brace, left brace, that highlights a certain region that are the Japanese automakers. Um, you've also got some uh, spines that are coming off each segment to its own type of legend uh, that is separated as well. So uh, in the next two videos, I'm going to show you how to do all of this and, and create all of this entire chart. Today, we're just going to focus on creating groupings uh, for stacked bar charts with a left brace or a curly bracket, um, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how we do that. All right, so here we have our data set up and uh, to build this chart. So we've, um, I'm going to actually change this chart. Let me go back and show you. I wanted to show what if we put two different groupings in here. So I've changed a, a couple of these nodes um, to Korean automakers uh, so that you can see Japanese and Korean and then others as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, what we've got here is we've got the data set up. We've got our Japanese automakers, and this is a sum formula of, let me click on it, it is D3 through D6, and this formula here is the sum of the Korean ones, Hyundai and Kia, and then others is uh, its own value right there. So this ends up giving you um, your grouping areas. Then down here is going to be the actual data of the stacked bar chart for each one, Toyota, Daihatsu, Suzuki, you name it. Uh, I do have a blank column in here for a blank series so that uh, we can show these labels over on the left and they won't be uh, pushed off the chart or into the axes. So, all right, so once you have your data set up just like this, what you want to do is you want to highlight your entire data and you want to go up to your insert ribbon. You have a column. Uh, chart type and you want to do a 2D column and there's a 2D stacked column type. Let's select that and let me bring that up here so you can see that a little better next to the data. Uh, shrink it up a little bit there. Alright, so we've got three series here. The series um, for the blue series, which you don't see anything, is the blank line. Uh, the blank column B. Series 2 is going to be uh, column C and series 3 is column D. Now this is not in the format that I want because I want it to be a stacked column chart and it's showing it more as rows with series. So you want to go up to your design ribbon. Then over in your data group you have switch, row, and column. We switch it and we're going to get a lot closer to what we wanted to see. Um, right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all of this chart junk. Uh, so I'm going to click on the vertical axes and hit my delete key. The horizontal axes, hit the delete key. I'm going to get rid of this legend in, um, right now and hit the delete key and then I've got horizontal grid lines that I've selected and now I'm going to hit the delete key. Alright, so uh, this is how we're going to do it. We're actually going to use um, custom markers uh, and replace this is the Korean line and this is the Japanese uh, curly brace and uh, what we want to do is go ahead and create the graphic that is going to replace these so you want to go up to your insert ribbon and then in the illustrations group there is a shapes button under shapes if you go down to basic shapes you will actually see a left brace graphic I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it within my chart and or within my spreadsheet and you can see there's the curly brace so I'm going to come in here and copy this. I'm going to click into my chart, select the Japanese one, and hit Control V, which is paste. Um, I'm going to, I can come back here and let's redo that for the Korean one. If I copy this, so I'm going to go up to my home menu, copy. If I come into the chart, select 
the Korean series, right click on it. Notice there's no paste in here, so that's why you got to learn. I guess we could also go up to the uh, home menu and do paste here. It will replace, but it's not in the right click menu. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. Um, what we want to do is we want to uh, merge these together a little bit more. So select any series within the uh, chart, right click on it, and do format data series. And then from the format data series, what we want to do is we want to decrease the gap. We want to go to no gap and then click on close. So you can see we're getting pretty close there uh, to what we want. Now I'm just going to select the plot area anywhere within the chart. I'm going to go up to my layout ribbon, data labels in the label section, and I'm going to click on center. Now we've got labels everywhere, um, but you can see the curly braces are already done. Um, what I want to do now is just replace these two labels here with Japanese and Korean automakers. So let's right click on that do format data labels. We're going to change it to series name, uncheck values, and then click on the other one and do the same thing and do series name and uncheck values. Click on close. Uh, the final thing I want to do is I want to move these over to the left. Korean and Japanese. And there you go. So now we have our um, shrink this up just a little bit since we're going to change some data. So we have our curly braces that are wrapped for the exact levels that they represent. And if we come in here and let's say we increase uh, Hyundai to 27.1 and we decrease Toyota to 27, notice that the charts um, have increased or decreased accordingly uh, the curly braces. So that's how you can represent this type of data and to group your stacked bar charts for your executives to show them uh, the current information that makes the most sense uh, to highlight information in your dashboard. So uh, please visit my blog, excel-dashboardtemplates.com, and make sure you sign up as a user so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques. Also, don't forget to return tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to show you the technique of how do we add these spines and custom uh, legend over here as well. Thanks, and see you next time.